There we go. If it doesn't look like you're about to give a prostate exam, you're not doing any work. I don't, I don't really know what my, my uncle was saying when he said things like that, but heck of a guy. Back in my field of dreams behind the garage, we have a 69 VW Beetle that just just wants to die. But uh, I am not letting it. We took the torque tube and transaxle out of a wrecked C5 Corvette, slammed some garbage 5.3 I found in a junkyard into the front, and today we're trying to make all that nonsense actually contact the road. So I originally made some pretty nice looking axles, if I do say so myself. This end is what was left of a C5 half shaft after a machine shop got done with it, and this end goes to the factory VW stuff. That lasted all of, uh, I don't know, like one block before things started breaking. So finally, a year and a half later, can't explain that time dilation, I ordered enough parts to choke a horse. I. I I'm assuming it can't take that many to choke a horse. Just look at all those things and stuff. Yeah, that's a lot of things and stuff. This is a thing that holds your boot stuff and this is, this is the boot and MP constant velocity joints for high articulation. So this will probably explode immediately. And then we got some bolts and oh yeah. Here's our boy Sway Away. Story time about Sway Away axles. I searched the internet high and low to find a custom axle shop to just to build me some of these that didn't charge like $900. Um, that, that didn't go well. Things weren't really happy in my life at that point, but then I found Sway Away on a random Facebook group post. They have sizes of axles that they don't list on their website. I'm glaring at you, whoever's in charge of your IT stuff. So give Sway Away a call. They have axles in stock that they don't tell you about. The cool thing about Swayway axles is they've actually got a longer splined area than most axles. So you can shave a little bit off of them at your machine shop and it doesn't matter. I mean, you and I will know, but I won't tell it. I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna tell them. First step to making an axle is slipping your boots over it. Come on! That went well. The next step is surely don't forget these guys because <laughs> foreshadowing on my practice axle, <laughs> I forgot these guys. These little guys are what go on the end of it and turn these little guys into those little guys, boots guys. Very, very clear what's happening here. My recommendation is to take them and zip tie them together so they don't make you angry. <laughs> because they will make you very angry this entire project. Be very careful of making sure you assemble it with the actual outside part on the outside and the inside part of the inside. Because you don't want your outside parts on the outside and your inside you know, you don't, you don't want that. The quick answer is this little groove goes towards the outside. Don't mess that up or you're not gonna have a good day. Once you're 912% sure that your CV joint isn't gonna be backwards, you gotta stuff some grease in it. I'm gonna let you guys watch me pack some grease in, in slow motion. 4K slow motion. Just how the Lord intended. I like the way she looks at me. Liking the time we spend, she my best friend till she get that D. Once you got your hole all packed up and then lube and you shove a shaft inside of it, go ahead and throw your little retainer for your shaft. It makes the whole setup a lot easier when it's only mildly covered with lube compared to ferociously covered with lube. This side of the axle is gonna be a little bit specialer. I like using these little plates on the end of axles so that way grease doesn't fly out when you're you know taking your axles apart. I need this for another reason. When I had our C5 Corvette half shafts ends milled off and then welded to a hub, it made them so uh, you could actually see through them. I have to find something to keep our VW axle grease out of the C5 trans because I can imagine that would be fun if it got in there. Now you've probably got everything phased correctly, maybe. Go ahead and cut your zip ties free. That's way you can slide your hot, hot boot action into the, the boot area. Now that we got a fresh set of Porsche 910 axles, we gotta go install her in the car. So let's go outside.
Oh, well, that's all there is to it. The custom axles and your C5 Corvette 53 Junkyard Swap 69 Beetle. It's easy as step one, two, three, 17, 28, 30, 36, 69. Uh, yep. We're not gonna be able to drive her today. There's still a whole bunch of problems up front, but we are getting closer to salvation, people. So just do whatever you need to do to subscribe and see what, see what we need. I'm sorry.